college basketball about to take over the Capital Region. Don't tell uh, Coach Gattuso I said that. We Coach. like that guy. Gattuso? Pittsburgh, man. He's, they came off to a good start. His, the him, Delaware man. game was a tough one, but yeah. him and Benson are doing a good job over there with Albany football. They got a good crew going on. We got a lot of great coaches in the area right now. Look, I, I count you amongst them. Thing. You're well, a great you know, guy. Well, you know. Come on. You can be nice to yourself for one minute. It's all well, right. after Will, you know, I'll put myself up. <laughs> and make sure the emperor is taken care of first. <laughs> Great. I can't wait for that phone call. We love Will. <laughs> Stop. Know. I'm only kidding. And by the way, he's done a tremendous... Albany's lucky Will Brown has stayed. You know, Will Brown's had some chances to leave. I know his wife, Jamie's great, and they, they, they really like living here. I don't speak for Will, but that guy has a big-time resume and has won. And what's funny is Will does it with different... He can play inside. He can play out. He can have a point guard that scores. He's. I've learned a lot from Will. He has good... He's good. He can do tempo. He can play fast and score a lot. He can do tempo control. I watch them and learn. It's just that one game a year, you know, it's, it's good for the whole area, and we have to act like, you know, we both do want to win. But I root for Will, and I really liked Hooley. I was, me and Hooley were supposed to go out before he left. Um, there, and Gattuso is good, and like, it's good. It's, it's a whole good thing going on over there, and they're, and they're trying in the hardest sport in the world to figure out, which is college football. Right. Like, yeah. to take that next jet, but, jet, that jump, but like Old Dominion now gets 35,000. They used to get six, and Benson was there for that. Yeah, and that's that's where you got to see if you can get it, you know. But you can't join; you're not going to the BCS. But that next level up's pretty good, right? It's and and, and you know, there's pro guys and I were to, there's pros in that league. Oh yeah, there's guys who are going to be playing on Sundays, no doubt. Uh, I look at your schedule coming up. We're, I don't want to get too far away from Cornell, but as right. a coach, you get your matchup with Cornell. Is sure. it harder for you to get your team up for game one? Or that quick turnaround for game two, then all of a sudden you're playing G-Dub on Wednesday. Because now you as a coach, your schedule changing a bit. You get time with these guys. Now it's a Monday, let's go, boys. we got to yeah, get ready for go. this game. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, Albany's a great airport. One thing about Albany is it's a great airport. I've, I said that when I took the job. I, I didn't know much about up here until I took the job. You know, Saratoga's great, like George's great in the summer. But, like, there's a great airport here. And that helps in recruiting and that helps in playing games. And we can fly to D.C. and back and not miss much class because we got to go to class on Wednesday and Thursday. But George Washington... Asheville, Pine Bluff, and of course Kansas. That's all part of a big tournament. So we just play when they tell us because they give us a big check, a big check. And so <laughs> that's how that goes. You right, know? right. It's like we used to say at Maryland. We used to play teams and they'd be like, oh man, you guys really poured it on. I said, did you get your check? Right, right. Because <laughs> right. you cashed it. Yeah, we poured that on too. <laughs> so, but in other words, so it's hard to win those games. But what they're doing is they're adding like we get one home and one away. So it's really cool. But we got to go to GW, you know, and they, they paid to be in that tournament. They, they got Kavanaugh from Syracuse. He's a City Rocks kid, played for Jimmy Hart. They're really good. But that's a good test. But we have a lot of kids from down there, so that's good for us recruiting. Kansas, Fog Allen, trip of a lifetime. Scott Van Pelt likes it better than Cameron. That's I awesome. like Cameron. Wow. It's at that level. Scott Van Pelt's like, I can't wait to, like, say your score that night because, you know, he's our buddy from Maryland. <laughs> And then Asheville is a beautiful town that's like Saratoga that has the Biltmore in it. We have, we're bringing people on the trip and John Dargenio does a great job of like, we, you know, they, they get gear and it's a good trip and then you get to see the Biltmore where they did being there and Richie Rich, the movies and Asheville went to the NCAA though last year. I'm like, geez, they weren't, that we signed this contract two years ago. They weren't supposed to go to the NCAA. Well, they did. And then you get Pine Bluff. Now you got to go back to Albany. I just look at the stretch of the five games before Thanksgiving. The games after Thanksgiving to Christmas, and then of course the league. You just have Vermont. So you break like it down to make it a little three easier. Three sections, you know, it's the first section, the middle, the second section, and then I put Vermont as coming back from Christmas. I like to play the Vermont game because they're really good. My friend's the coach there, John Beck. Well, he used to be my friend, but that's how coaching goes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, I you, digress. But you want to play, in other words, you come out of Christmas and then you're going to play one tough game. When I was at Loyola, we played Bucknell every year. We played Mescala, who's on the Atlanta Hawks. And the coach there is a really good guy. He's married to uh, his his wife's from an Albany, and Dave pays. He, he he's he he's a really good coach at Bucknell. Now he's at George Mason. We wanted to play one tough game going back into the MAC because the MAC's interesting because we play in December because we're such pioneers. We're the only ones that get it right. <laughs> Anyways, so we play in December two games, so you have to kind of do that. Needles away. <laughs> and then, but you got to play Vermont coming out of there to get ready for the league, and then it's the tournament is the fourth part. So it's four parts. It's early. It's that middle early. And, you know, we happen to play Albany and St. Bonaventure, two great teams around the MAC games. Florida Gulf Coast, we go there. Another NCAA team, Dunk City. You know, so I'm probably the dumbest coach in America to schedule. But I think the fans like it. I want to play big teams, too. I have called every big team, Northwestern, Boss College, St. John's. They're not coming here. They're not coming here anymore after what the NCAA is doing, where you can't have one bad loss 
We all right. have, nobody's coming to visit Will and I here. Well, all right. Well, we got the, uh, speaking of here, Mike from Clifton Park, uh, he, he wants to ask you a question, Absolutely. Coach. Absolutely. Hello, Mike. Hey, Coach. How you doing? Uh, looking forward to Sunday. Uh, I know coaches don't like to talk about injuries. I saw uh, Mark Singley's, uh tweeting some things uh, about Brett and Marquise. I wonder how they're doing. And Nico, of course, uh, uh, his knee. And, and my second part, I'll hang up and listen. Um, how's recruiting looking? I know you can't comment specifically on it, but uh, if you could just give us a general thing, because uh, after, I think we're going to have a great team this year, but got to replace those guys to keep it going. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I'll hang up and listen. Nope. Go Saints. Uh, hope for a great season. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Mike. I appreciate it. Yeah, recruiting's the lifeline of your program, and right now, Khalil and Santi Shivers are contributing. They're both probably starting on Sunday, because we have Levon out. Clear Richards is really good. Tom Herter, it may take a year to get it, you know, that fire thing going where it takes, you know, college is about emotion and attitude, and Tom's a pretty smooth guy. And, and, and he's playing behind like Levon and Nico. And Sammy Friday is going to be really good. I just don't want to burn a year for Sammy Friday when we have Javion Brett and clearly Evan Fisher. And then Willem's done it redshirted last year. That That's our freshman class that came in. We have a, some people being signed that I can't talk about until we get their letters of intent. But I'll tell everybody always, I'm playing. I'm coming on. There you board. go. Yeah, there we like it. If, you, if you play like the Raiders, we'll take you. But at our <laughs> level, sometimes we no, don't I just... I play like the 2005 Raiders, not though. There you go. <laughs> exactly. We don't just take kids to take them early. Sometimes at our level, we have a lot. We have a big list of kids out there that we want to go see play. They're going to be better later. Transfers are a big part of the game. We're still pretty young. Kadeem Smitten has three years left. That guy's really good. He's been in. He had knee surgery from Doc Alfred. Great doc in the area. Owns too many horses, but he's a great doc. <laughs> um, he's coming back. He's got three years left. That guy's an Atlantic 10 player. He was at Richmond. You know, he's from Toronto. He's coming back. Nico has three years left. Um, you know, those guys can play. I, you know, Willem has three years left. Evan Fisher has three years left. So there will be a little turnover. Brett and Marquise right now, you know, Marquise has a hurt hand. It just, it's kind of one of those aggravating things and, and it's going to deal with it some days. And Brett's knees are sore. Brett's old. He's like 29. You know, he's been here forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think we've ever gone to show without you ribbing Brett. <laughs> I love Brett. That, I that's my way of saying I love you. But right. Brett, Brett Bisping, I'll tell you what, he's as good a person as you're going to meet in your whole life. Smart, intelligent, works hard, plays hard. You can take him to a party. You can take him to a board meeting. You can take him to, we went and spoke at my friend's, um, Jewish, you know, a congregation the other day. Sinkoff, we used to be on the radio with yeah, him. Yeah, he's Benet, a realtor now. He is, Benet yeah. Shalom. We went there, and Brett ended up giving out 30 tickets and taking all these pictures, and people <laughs> came up, and I said, go for Brett, But Brett Bisping's a junkyard dog. That's a hard hat, lunch pail guy, and he doesn't want to sit on the sidelines. i got to make him sit out and say, hey, I want you to be healthy for the games. So he's fine. Injuries are part of the game. It happens. I've been used to him since I've been here. We've had... Marquise missed a bunch of the season. Brett get hurt there. You know, guys have been out. You got to deal with it. That's why you have depth. But recruiting is an ongoing thing. It never stops. Thank God I have Greg Manning. He does an unbelievable job. I have a new guy, Abe Waldeslas, who came from Davidson's working. Uh, Jordan's, Jordan Watson's an assistant. But Greg Manning's our chief recruiter, and that's the guy I got to keep here. Um, the biggies are going to try and get him, and he brings the players in. I'm just closed the deal. I mean, we know him, but Greg Manning's a rising star. Sienna's coach, Jimmy Patz, was with us right here on 104.5 The Team. Before we grab that call with Mike, you mentioned about schools not wanting to come to the Albany area because you guys... <laughs> well, because we win a lot. They don't want... They, they, right. they'd, they'd come here if they could beat us by 20. We're that dangerous team that can beat you. You know, Will went out to Washington and beat Washington. He's giving teams runs in the NCAA. Is that going to change? Is there something in the NCAA that the committee is no. going to look and say, yeah. hey... <laughs> you know, not frustrating. really. Yeah. Well, look, no, you can go... It helps. Oregon State went to Rice and won and Santa Barbara and won, and that got them in the tournament. But mm -hmm. those teams were pretty good but no offense the gauchos and the owls aren't known for their hostile arenas <laughs> they probably went there because they had a kid from santa barbara and a kid from houston they snuck in there and won a road win which helps your rpi but it kills you if you lose to a bad team santa barbara and rice aren't terrible teams the times union center is known as a tough place to play i mean paul you they ruined it for me you know, for, <laughs> then georgia tech came up here in other words stanford you know we've, we've been kind of a giant killer i don't speak for will but they, 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 you know, the, the, all these kids from the capital region are out there on big schools like Notre Dame, Maryland, and places like that in Carolina. They're not going to run back up here and play. Roy Williams is probably my best shot because he'll come up here for uh, play tech and want to come back and play in two or three years. Carolina traditionally does that. But that's the problem is you're not going to probably catch them on an off night. Sure. 
Whereas whether it was, I'm not casting aspersions, but the middle of Clemson or someone like that or Penn State who's building their program to come in. Like Penn State goes to Albany, I'll take Will in that game. Now they're at Penn State. And Penn State's trying to make the NIT or get in the NCAA in the bubble. They can't afford that loss. Right. So, Coach, you got uh, you got Cornell Sunday. What's uh, what's going to happen in this Cornell, game? Cornell, tough. Hatter and Morgan, they're as good a guards as we're going to face all year. Hatter's got these glasses. He's left-handed. He's tough. You think he's a little like Urkel, and this guy's a killer. He had 32 last year on us. He's played great every year there. Morgan's father played at Georgetown. He's a really good kid and a good player. He was, like, all rookie last year. And then they got some big guys, but they got these two guards, and they, you know, two years ago they came in and beat us. The guy that transferred, that, you know, because in the Ivy League when you right. graduate or you get hurt, you can't go back. You can only play four years. You have to leave. They had a kid two years ago started for UConn <laughs> who played at Cornell for four years. He just was hurt for a year. Right. In other words, they got real players, you know, and it's a great game. Sunday at two. They're all good games. We play all good games. Any game you can come to, the fans, Times Union Center is a great place to watch a game. Our kids play really hard. We have student athletes that are students first, and uh, they deserve you to come out. Go pack it. Um, show some support. Uh, we really appreciate you coming in, Coach. And I know uh, traffic was hell, so take your time and uh, we'll steal safe. some of uh, Gaza's uh, food on your way. No, it's already it's got gone. His pisons, Johnny. It's all gone. <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks for Best having me. Sunday at 2 p.m. Come on out. Take down Cornell. We appreciate you.